Morning guys, welcome to Revit Up UK. Uh, you can see behind me the Nissan GTR that Mark got in yesterday. So, uh, you can see I've got my rucksack on. I don't normally have this bag on me, but I'm drinking a cup of tea, uh, which you can't see. I'm drinking a cup of tea and I'm gonna be going outside. I have just got the keys for Mark's Porsche Cayman GT4. So I'll be going outside. I've got my programming tools with me, my remapping gear, uh, and we're literally just gonna do a software read. So I'm not gonna be tuning the car today. I'm just going to be doing a read of what's on the car, obviously going through some of the map areas and that. Uh, I'll probably go through some of that with you, uh, but yeah, have a quick nosy up behind me. Quite a few cars in the showroom. Uh, we'll do a, a little walk around as well, but let's get outside. Oh, this new crazy mother. We're now outside the Revit Up UK showroom. Uh, I'm still drinking my cup of tea, so it'll be a little while before we get started. Just wanna show you the car behind me. In fact, I better turn the camera around so I can give you a better view. I've just turned the camera around so I can see a bit better, just so you guys can see what we've got outside. This morning, uh, we've got, Chris has just come in to collect his VW Golf Mark V GTI. Now we sold this car on Saturday. Uh, two liter, TFSI, Mark V Golf, uh, it's the 200 horsepower model or 197 if you want to be picky they come with a ko3 turbo uh really good cars i've owned two of these and i love them to bits we might as well have a quick quick walkie around the back just so you can see the vehicle but uh the car itself is immaculate it's got tons of receipts it's been really well looked after and in the background you can see mark's cayman gt4 i'm just gonna let a car go past me there's a van just about to drive past Right, and here's the Cayman GT4. Now, this car came out last year. It's a 3.8 litre, uh, 385 horsepower, 420 newton meters. Shit, I'm about to get run over. Uh, it's, a, it's a, what is the engine? It's a DFI, so it's a direct fuel injection, injected engine. Uh, so the actual the injectors are screwed directly into the cylinder port right like straight into the head uh you get a really good burn off these all of these cars i mean the technology in all of these cars are all very similar to the mark 5 golf uh so it's direct injection you get really good fuel economy I'm not sure what size tires he's on let's have a quick nosy two four five thirty twenties on the front and as you can see those discs are discs are huge really big brake discs and, and on the rear what's he got two nine five thirty twenty you know, big old rotors on the back as well. It's a lovely car to look at. Uh, there's a guy on YouTube who has done like a seven minutes 47. You know, he he, he does give it the beans. I mean, you do have to rev them quite high uh, to get the power out. Being naturally aspirated. I've just got another car coming to attack me. Yeah, you do have to rev them quite high, but the cars themselves are really, really good. Really nice cars. Uh, Right, I'm gonna finish having my cup of tea and then we'll get inside the car, get my tool connected and uh, get it, you know, uh, read, read the software that's on the vehicle. Purely a, uh, oh, stuff. Guys, we're now sat inside the Porsche Cayman GT4 at idle. Uh, just so you can see, is the instrument cluster and the steering wheel. I'll just give you a little look around the car. So there's your light switches, which is the same as every other Porsche. Uh, on this side, you've got your wipers. On the left, you've got your indicator stalk. This, in the center, uh, you get this, it's called a sports chrono pack, but it also functions as a clock in these newer vehicles. Whereas in mine, it's strictly just for a uh, chronometer. So I don't get the clock function, which is a bit of a shame. I think I can upgrade, but uh let's have a look down here so you've got your central display uh for your radio and your air con and everything else i've switched the air con off because we're going to be reading the software briefly uh obviously six forward gears there's your cayman gt4 emblem and your other signs so the interior of the car is pretty neat i'll just show you inside here so there's space to store your you know to store your phone and charge your phone 
Uh, if you have a look on this side, you can see the seats. So there's a the Cayman GT4 seats. The back of them is carb they're actual carbon fiber seats. I'll give you a better look at them when we get some light. It's probably hard to see in this video, but I'll go down here. You can see there's my laptop and my gear down there. I have pulled off the little cubby hole because the OBD port is down in the corner. Uh, quick look out the back. Obviously we're outside Revit up, so you can see his door and everything else. But I'm just gonna close the door. Right, this is the CMD flash programming tool. Uh, it is the industry standard. You know, it's, it's well known as the best tool in the industry. There are other tools that I use. But I personally prefer uh, AMT Kartec MPPS. Now that's the tool of choice. So I'd usually use that for most cars, but as this is a brand new vehicle, uh, CMD are better. Uh, at programming new cars through the diagnostic port so it's just a better tool to use once the screen loads up you can see there that's all set up uh, obviously tools registered to me uh, we do use master tools here so we don't send files off or, f or get third-party tuning uh, so I'm just gonna click on Porsche Cayman where's the GT4 GT4 SDI 9 press OK there we go, and as you can see down here, it's very, very simple to use. Uh, so you select the car, which we've done, to see if that zooms in and says what it is. Nope, camera's being a little bit dodgy. Then we got identify, read, write, and back to 100% stock, which is a new feature uh, put out by FlashTech, which turns the CMD into a VAS ODIS tool. It goes online and programs the ECU as if it's never been programmed uh, so it goes completely back to standard you could write the original back to it but if you press the back to 100% stock button it puts it back to main dealer you know completely back to stock uh, I'm just gonna stop this video and then I'll uh, switch the ignition off obviously we're gonna get power to the battery and then I'll start reading the software all right so the instrument dash is now off uh, you can see down here is the key Let's switch it to on if I can get that over so you can see so the ignition is now on, as you can see the lights are on the dash. So I'll come over to my tool, get my mouse and hit the identify button. So that's now identified. Now all I want to press is the read button, which is here. And I'll type in GT4 as the, as the save name. So it's now connecting and that will start reading in a second. You do have to have the internet to use these these vehicles to use these uh, sorry to pr to program these vehicles, and that's now reading the software, as you can see down there. So that's now going along reading the software off, off of Mark's car. Like I said, once the software is read, I will go back upstairs, uh, open up obviously open up this original file, uh, put it next to either a Damos for this or one of the SDI. A2Ls that I've got and start to locate the main maps for remapping. So I'll look for ignition timing, my main fuel maps, uh, my safety fuel maps. Obviously, we, we want the car to run to run well. Uh, and there's a few torque map areas and other bits. You know, I can go. I'll go through it. Most of these are in English. A lot of the cars that I work on are in German, but these Siemens ones I seem to find them all in English, which is obviously easier to read. But I'm so used to tuning cars in German. There we go. Files read and that took one minute exactly. And I've got the GT4 file just there on my desktop. So, come back over to here, switch the ignition to off. So that's it, that's the ignition off. I can take the key out as well and exit the software and just shut that down. Right, I've just shown you guys how to read the software with the Porsche Cayman GT4. Uh, that goes the same for any car. So when you've got a programming tool like this, you connect the tool, you select the right vehicle, uh, you, you, you connect it to the diagnostic port, connect it to your laptop and read the software. So the tools that I work with, and I've got a few garages that work with me, obviously I, I do their software. Uh, they plug in the tool, they select the vehicle, they press identify and then they press read and it's, it's that simple. So now we're gonna go upstairs, shut, or obviously we'll shut the door, lock the car, go upstairs, and I'll start going through some of the map areas. Right, so we're now upstairs in the Revit Up UK office. Uh, I was going to get the software open on Mark's GT4, but I've just had somebody send me a file. This is the MPPS that I was talking about, a different tool. I've just had one of uh, the guys that work with me send me a file to do for him. I think it's a VW Caddy or something. So I have to open the software, click on Client Manager, click Open File, find the file that he sent me, which is Benny Skoda, press Enter and then save it, I'll just put Benny in capitals, and that's now saved to the desktop. 
so if I escape, I'll have his software for tuning. So a bit of a bit of a delay on what we're doing today. Uh, but this is what I do. So I come into work. I've got a network of garages. Not sure if you've seen my website, but I'll get that up now. Let's have a quick look. So if you go on the oncars.com website, uh, obviously I've got car reviews. So there's a few cars that I've worked on if you scroll down. So here you can see Mark's McLaren. Uh, and then there's a full review on that. Obviously me talking about the car, taking it out, having a good old drive. There are a few other vehicles on there. Uh, there's one that I shared on Facebook this morning. And it's an E30. Yeah, so a BMW E30 with a 4 litre V8 conversion. And that was lent to me by the guys at Richard Palmer Motors in Great Yarmouth. Really good garage. They do a lot of these conversions. Uh, they've got main dealer Vauxhall tools, BMW tools. And they do services on all types of cars. But a very, very busy garage down there called Richard Palmer. But if we click on... Where are we? Tune in. We've got dealer locations. So obviously around the country and a couple other places, I've got some garages uh, that do remapping. So obviously you can find these guys. There's OCD Porsche specialists in Wallasey, RSV Graphics in Dudley, JB Auto Works, and there's just a few more as you scroll down. Uh, I do have more to add to the list. I've just not had time to do it. Right, I'm going to crack on with this job, uh, and then we'll crack on with this job, get this job done. And then I'll get back onto the GT4 software. I finally got Mark's software open. I'm just going to show you over here on the left hand side. I'm now searching Lambda maps in his ECU. Uh, so we've got Lambda control. Let's we'll keep scrolling down. There's linear Lambda. You've also got uh, Lambda for homogeneous and stratified mode. Obviously, it's, it's direct injection. So you can see down here Lambda set point for homogeneous lean, which is just Lambda 1 when you're at cruise. Basic lambda set point, warm up correction of basic lambda. And you've also got your warm up maps, cold start is obviously lambda one, leave that alone. There are people that disable stuff like that, and I'm not too sure why. Uh, lambda coordination, lambda set point, etc. So, as you can see, there's some of the maps, but those are all the maps that control uh, lambda. So, if I come off of here, so if I get rid of this and remove where it says lambda, we're now going to have the full file with everything. Just so you can see here, uh, it's just a, a maze of madness. You can see the length of this, and this is what I'm now going through to uh, locate the maps in the software. Oh, this new crazy mother.